Hi, I've been building the Pretorial platform for almost two years now and uh, this one is my latest creation. I think it is my best. Um, the main idea of the platform is you put a telescope in it, you point it anywhere in the sky and it just follows what it is pointing at. I was just testing it with the sun because we are going to have a very rainy week. So this was my only ch chance to test it. So basically this is a six inch Gibsonian. You can put on this platform anywhere between six to 10 inch uh, without any problem. And I was even able to manage to put in a 14 inch on it. I will show you how it is working and I will explain about the mechanism and everything. Um, the basic idea is just put in the platform on the ground, point it, point it to the north and just press start and it's working, nothing to do. It, there is a motor here which drags the platform so that it is following the, following the sun. And uh, I have different options here. It has auto return. It returns automatically to the starting position. And you can adjust the speed if there is there is really no need for that but if it's not properly aligned you can do that um, so uh, this is the platform and it is built with uh, teflon pads uh, and the upper uh, part is sliding on them it has uh, it has these arcs and they're all 3D printed. So it is sliding like that on the arcs. While the motor is rotating this screw, which moves this barrel to this side. The upper part connects to the motor uh, with this and this. So you just put it like that, activate it, and then it goes all this way. And it is, you see, when I try to move it, it it's quite stable. And this structure is built so that it won't have a lot of freedom because if you have some freedom in previous version of the platform that I had, then when you put in a big Gibson in it, every small movement is multiplied by the magnification. So it's important that it will be stable. How does it work? Uh, you have to put power in it. Currently, I put in 12 volt into the Arduino. This is the Arduino board. I have here a PD to 12 volt power cable that we can connect to our power bank and it gives 12 volts and it powers in on the Arduino and here you have a DC to DC converter from 12 to 24 and this gives power to the motor driver which powers the stepper motor. Okay, you see here 24.4 volts, and this is the voltage that the driver gets. It can get from 20 to 50 volt. Okay, this is a DM542 driver. Um, the stepper motor is a regular NEMA 17 motor. And in order to activate it, I have here such thing which is like a remote control with a screen and three buttons. It is, you can detach it and it is connected by a Ethernet cable. So you can replace the cable with a long cable and hold it. And right now when I detach it, I unplug it. So 
and we press the reset, I plugged it again and press the reset and it's starting again. I hope you can see. So when you first power up the device, it is saying RDY ready. So all you have to do is press the green or the red button and it will start working. You hear a little beep, it's, that's the indication it starts working. The motor is rotating and you have a, a timer here running up in seconds, hours, minutes and seconds. And if you want, you can modify the speed by pressing the green or the red button and it will give you the RPM of the motor. See? If you want to go down or you want to go up, it gives you the RPM of the motor. Okay, so when you press the reset button, you go into a setup menu, setup, and if you don't do anything for 10 seconds, then it will return to ready. I'll do right, and then you can start it again. So, what is the setup menu that I have? Uh, when you press the green button, it changes from hand to auto. And this is the way you return it to the starting position. I mean, with the auto, which is the default option, when the platform gets to the end, you have here a micro switch. It presses the micro switch and then it will go back all the way. I will uh, show you. Okay, so let's assume it is going all the way and it press the micro switch. And then it goes all the way to the other end until it hits this micro switch. And then it's just resumed. And once he has done, it has done that. I mean, once he got to the starting position, the, the display now shows not the elapsed time, but the remaining time. So the Arduino knows the distance between the two micro switches, and it can calculate according to the speed how long that will it take to from one micro switch to another. And you see it's about 63 seconds, uh, 63 minutes. Okay, so when it goes near the end, you will get some beeps uh, in the, uh, telling you if you are uh, observing that it's about to go to the end, you get one beep at uh, five seconds, another at uh, one minute. Uh, you will get one beep, beep as at five minutes before the end one at one minute and the last one 15 minutes, 15 seconds before the end. And it's the same bit that you heard when I pressed the start thing. Uh, very, it's, it's not very loud, it doesn't uh, disturb you. Um, the problem is that when it goes back, uh, it makes a lot of noise. So uh, this is why you have this setup. So if you want to use the manual, and the manual option, then when it starts, it will go to the end and then it will just stop. And you have to manually return it. In order to manually return it, you have to lift this. And here you have something you have to, by hand, rotate and push it back. It's not very convenient, but it is working. And I have uh, built also something like that to hold it, uh, which is easier to lift because this one is stuck into the trolley. And uh, so this is the manual option. And also when you are choosing the auto option, you can choose the return speed. So if you return, the, the maximum return speed is 250. And this one is the one that gives you the noise that if you set it for example 70 that's rpm okay then it will take a longer to time to go back but it will be quieter so i will just show you let's assume it goes to the end 
and now it returns slower, slower noise, but it will take six, six minutes. Um, I will turn to setup and I will change it and then if I don't do anything, this is the default the 250 and then you will see the return takes about less than two minutes. Okay, let's say we start and then we get to the end. One minute forty something. So this is all built into the Arduino code and you can control it with that. But as I, as I said at the beginning, you really don't need all this uh, I mean, the, the basic operation, just leave it like that, put in the telescope, start playing, and that's it. And it will just go back and forth, back and forth, all night or until the battery dies. So, um, this is the basic settings. The platform is built for latitude 32, which is... Uh, here in Israel it's uh, like Tel Aviv or in the US I think it's uh, something like uh, San Diego or um, in Texas I think you have this latitude and uh, you can operate it uh, I mean with good tracking from about three, uh, three uh, degrees north of, or south so you can Operate it from 20, latitude 29 to latitude 35, uh, and you just have to adjust the the height. Okay, so you have to compensate for the difference in latitude by uh, tilting it up or down with this uh, with this uh, legs. So let's say that you are in latitude uh, 30. Uh, so you have to take it, take the back end up by two degrees in order for it to have a good tracking. And of course, it had to be pointed to the north. Okay. Um, I will uh, post in the. Uh, I will post also uh, all the design and the Arduino code and all the different parts you need if you want to build it by yourself and you can contact me if you need some help with that okay happy stargazing <laughs>